Hey everyone, how are you doing? Um, here's a little tutorial how to implement my elements uh, into the hut. Um, and then it's gonna be looking something like this. So I have a button Z and X where I take health away and give health. And as you can see here, the widget reacts accordingly. So, and this is gonna, what I'm gonna show you, okay? So the first thing you wanna do is you wanna go on the internet and you go to the site called yourresources.com and plugins. Here's a free plugin called Paper Widget, uh, paper flipbook widget that you need to download. I also put the link in the description. Um, and then you simply put it into your marketplace plugins folder uh, in your engine, okay? Then, yeah. okay, now, so to start off, what we're gonna do is we go into our first person character or whatever character you have. And what you wanna do is you want to add a widget to the viewport just like here you know um, and then I have here just a little logic that says okay uh, I take health away and I give health uh, and now what you want to do is of course you want to create uh, two variables okay add variables both should be float and then you can say simply current health and max health and maybe instance editable and that's so far it what we need for the character okay so add these two uh, values and they can be everything you want they can also be stamina or mana or hydration whatever you want okay next thing we want to do as you can see here i have a hot folder uh, what we're going to do is we go right click user interface widget and we call this for example tutorial hud okay and then we open this up um, before we do anything else, we put this into our create widget class, okay? Save this, good. And now what we have here, with the plugin, what you can do is you can just type in here, flipbook, paper flipbook, and then it's a new object in the hot class now. You put it in here, and all you're gonna do here now is you say, um, here we want bar, to do the flip bar six. That's the one we have here. And now what you're gonna do is you drag it out like this, and now you position it however you want to do. Okay, and now we can say auto play off. We don't need that. We compile for now. And now what we're gonna do is we go in the graph. And what you can do here now is very simple. So what we're gonna do first, because we could, of course, we could cast to our character, uh, to our first person character, where are we here? And then we can say here, player, get player character. And then here, from here, we could get health. And that's good uh, and it would work, but it's on tick. So you don't really want to cast to your player all the time. So a better way to do is is actually creating um, an interface and as you can see here we have I have created a hot interface if you don't know how that works you go right click and then you go to blueprints and here is blueprint interface and I just show you we say tutorial interface right and now you can go in here and you say here you have a new function you can create new functions and here we say now health and then in here, what you're gonna do is you have your inputs and outputs. And what you wanna do is you say two new parameters and they're both floats. And what you're gonna do is you say, this is current health and this is max health. Okay. And then you compile and save. Um, and as you can see, I already did that here in HUD. It's the same thing current health and max health. And then next thing is you wanna go back to your character and you wanna to go to class uh, to, to class settings. And here is interfaces and you just say add and you search here tutorial interfaces. I don't add it here now because I have already my class right here. So this is my interface. And what I'm gonna do then is I go here to the left side and here you will find, if you have added it, you will find interface 
and here's health and you double click on here and now what happens is here normally it will look like this and here you just plug in your values so current and max health okay so and that's basically it so you don't need the first character anymore because now we go back to our tutorial hud right oh we can actually take this away and now what you can do is you can go here and you can just type in uh, the name of the function of your interface and we just called it health right so you drag out here and you call health and here you can see already hot or tutorial hot i have it two times now you just say hot message and here you simply plug in the get player character and now as you can see here you have these uh, values that you need Oops. and they are basically like a direct link and you don't have to cast which is kind of important and now if we go to our example project here you kind of see how you set up the position frame of your flipbooks so you basically get the percentage and then you multiply it by the frames okay that means we're gonna do just this now so we go to our tutorial hud we here we have our variable of the flipbook that we kind of added here you drag this out right get flipbook and what you want to do is set position in frames right here we want to add it later on and then you also get frame uh, lengths in frames that's important that you always use the frames and now what you want to do is uh, as we did here we first get the percentage so health and max oops uh, here we Oh, can we actually copy everything maybe that works and then we can maybe just add it here so here and if we do this uh, no that doesn't work okay so you cannot copy it you actually always have to take it out okay so we just do it like this and now you can just say current health through this and then you multiply this by float so integer times float and then you can put it in here it automatically uh, does this node and then you plug it in here and this should be basically it so you have this and of course this you would do basically just just in a chain like after this for if you have more than one widget but now as you can see if we go in here i press c to show my my widget and now if i get damage by pressing z or x what i set up just to make it easier you can see our widget reacts accordingly okay and this is basically it so create an interface where you kind of plug in your your values these value are automatically then with the interface translated into your hud um, and then here you just get the percentage like this and then you multiply it by the length of the flames uh, of the frames from your from your widget and then you plug it into set playback position in frames and that's it okay so i hope this tutorial helps and yeah i put all the links for the for the free plugin into this description and yeah have fun with my package and if, if you like it please please rate it please leave a review and yeah have fun